Hey, how we doing everyone? I'm finally back from vacation, uh, took a little rest, that's why you guys didn't see many videos coming up. So now we're going to concentrate, I'm going to try to make as much videos as possible. We got a lot of questions, uh, a lot of answers to shoot, um, people trying to update firmware, problems updating uh, Cori. So we're going to try to go, go over a few things. So in this particular video, I see a lot of questions if people try to update Cori from 16 to 16.1. So in this video, I'm going to show you what happened when you are running 16.1. We're going to downgrade it to 16 and we're going to show you three ways to install it through Google Play. It seems everyone has a problem. I'm not sure why it's not showing you on Google Play uh, the latest version, but I'm going to show you what it looks in mine. I'm going to show you how to download it straight to the box, and I'm going to show you how to download it in a USB down uh, drive. So we're going to use three different ways. So let's go over first, and let's check what I'm running here. Let's go to my app, Play Store. Let's search for Kodi. Get it right over here. And let's see what I got install. Okay, so here, a lot of people say it shows me open. Well, it shows you open is because you're running the same version that you have installed. It's the same version in the uh, Google Play Store. So let's check. Here it says what is new, 6.1 Jarvis. So if here shows open, I must be running 6.1. If not, it will show you update. So let's see. Let's click open. And as you can see there, I was running 16.1. So on the next video now, I'm going to downgrade it and show you how to update it. It doesn't happen that to you. I'm not sure why, because it's supposed to be the latest version. But let's check. Let's see what happened. Okay. So we are back now. So I update or actually downgrade to 16.0. And we see here we're running 16.0. And let's see what happened. We're going to search for Cody. We get right over there. And this is what I was talking about. Now it says update. Why? Well, because the Play Store is running version 16.1. You got to make sure to just look down and see what it show you here. Maybe maybe it's possible in different country has a different version. I'm not sure. But we see here 16.1 Jarvis and it shows here update. That's because I'm running version 16. So if you see here, if you don't see here update and it says open and you show you're running version 16.0, then compare what it says here. Otherwise, we're going to have to do it manually and I'm going to show you how to do it manually. We're going to hit update anyway. Okay, so we got it. It's finished installing. So we click open. Let's compare again. 6.1. Okay. So we got it running. So it's okay. So this is one way to update it. So let me show you another way to do it. We're going to do it right over here. So the other way to do it, we're going to go into my apps and we're going to look for the browser. Browser. Okay. So we are in the browser. The only problem now, if you have a physical keyboard, you actually tap it with the key with the actual remote, so it's gonna take a little longer. So it's kinda of a little bit more pain in the butt to do it. So we're gonna do Cody the TV. We hit enter okay in the remote control. We're gonna go straight to downloads. We go down until you see Android and you're going to download the ARMS, A-R-M, 
version okay you're gonna click right over here and you see here downloading so we see right over there is downloading finish downloading we close the browser we go into local file browser local drive downloads and right over here we click on it and we install and I'm gonna do it again because for the purpose of demonstration you know this will work we click and install so they say now you got version running 16 you can download 161 and force an update without going to the Play Store or in case maybe you don't have an account in Play Store this is one way to do it the other way to do it takes a little more work and the way we're going to do this one now you need an actually physical computer so let's do this one so now that we are in actually running windows as you see this is a windows browser we just type cori.tv we're going to hit downloads and my way i'm going to go again because in case this is easy for you because you don't want to be typing into the browser on into the box so we hit download you're going to download it in your own location then i'm going to go and i'm going to open my usb drive they already actually did download it right there you see there i just put the two versions there this is my usb drive I download it, it's right over here, we hit open, and I got plenty of things here, uh, okay, see, right over here, so actually what we have to do, beyond in the USB drive, I'm sure you guys know how to do this, we're just going to go grab it from here, and we're going to copy straight to the USB drive so one we have in the USB drive this is a different version but this is just a demonstration we're gonna go back into the box for now we are into Android so and you see here it says local disk. Well, this is the local disk that actually the box. So we're gonna grab the the USB drive. We're gonna apply again. Let's take a second, and it shows right there USB A. If you will plug another one, goes B, and, it, and so on. So we click right over there, and if you see here the one I just downloaded this version so we click on it and we can install it and update it so this is three ways to do it and by the way one thing I talk about the USB drive uh, I have a lot of questions that people say that my USB drive is not working well you gotta make sure if you're gonna use a thumb drive that works okay, but if you're gonna use a self-powered hard drive, the three and a half of any any big hard drive requires a lot of current. So what's gonna happen is when you plug it into the box, it's gonna maybe detect it, maybe not. Then I see a lot of people asking that question, why it's not working? If you're gonna use an actually hard drive, try to get power drive. I mean, it has a, a, a source power, not from the actually power from the box because the box the power supply is only like two amps and it's not going to be enough to drive the box drive any other device you're going to plug in a keyboard or a remote control anything you're going to plug in and besides the usb drive this is a small drive four gig usb drive so it's okay it's not going to be any problems so with this we conclude the video and i show you three different ways to update or either to install. You can follow the same way. If you don't have code in your machine, well, you can just follow this video and you can either install it by downloading the USB drive 
by going into the browser, into the actual box in the browser, you're going to type Cordy.tv, or you just go into Google Play and you can download it from Google Play. So you got three, three different alternatives to install it. And I think that will should fix any problems to update it and install Cody. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.